Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. Uh, so last few months were pretty rough for me so I was not able to you know make uh, videos on this channel so I'm really sorry for that. Um, so today I'm back again uh, with uh, one more use case, potential use case of ChatGPT uh, where you know we'll try to see if we can you know do threat modeling of a very basic web application using ChatGPT. Uh, so without wasting any further time, let's get started. Uh, so uh, uh, I'm sure if you are uh, quite familiar with uh, threat modeling, right? So you must be familiar with uh, the framework called Stride. So basically, this is a very well-known framework used uh, used for you know doing threat modeling of any system. Uh, so if I quickly explain what it, it's all about, it is spoofing, uh, the full form of stride is spoofing, tampering, repudiation, information disclosure, denial of service and uh, elevation of privilege. Uh, so we are going to use chat GPT uh, and we are going to see uh, if we give them a very bas basic uh, application use case, if it is, if it is uh, capable of you know, building a uh, threat model for us and you know point out potential vulnerabilities uh, there although there are plenty of automated tools but I just wanted to give it a try you know if it is capable of doing that so you know I have logged into my uh, chat GPT account and what I'm gonna do first is uh, and I already have written some of these prompts so first prompt I'm going to use is uh, you are a security professional capable of doing threat modeling of web application so let's see let's start with that okay and after that I am going to give it uh, the use case okay uh, so this is the use case do a threat model of a web application uh, user use cases uh, normal user can register uh, themselves using mobile OTP admin can approve user admin can delete and ban user and normal user normal user who actually registered can actually trigger a job uh, and just change this five and I'll add one more stuff uh, no, uh, and that job would download PII, PII and save them into this three bucket let's see what it has to say okay so this is a very b basic use case we are giving we have not yet mentioned what framework to use first we want to see you know what it is capable of doing so this is exactly what it is saying assets uh, user data PII uh, application database user authentication system job triggering mechanism s3 bucket use case analysis it has actually you know done the use case analysis for us uh, so the first use case that we have gave is normal user uh, registration using mobile OTP. Uh, the potential threats also it has identified that's very interesting. Uh, unauthorized access attack attacker might attempt to inject uh, intercept OTP during transmission. Uh, attacker might perform brute force attack. Okay. Uh, countermeasure. Uh, okay. It asked us to use uh, SSL. Use rate limiting. Good. Good. Uh, use case 2 admin approve threats unauthorized admin access un unauthorized user might access admin privilege okay uh, attacker might manipulate approval request okay countermeasures uh, role based so it has given all the you know uh, potential um, countermeasures okay so it is asking us to you know role based access control system which is very you know legitimate point so after that it is also saying uh, admin can delete and ban users uh, you know for this use case it is saying admin might accidentally delete user and admin might misuse the ban capability so I am not very much uh, with this one but you know we will we'll see later if we can modify the prompt uh, confirmation prompt okay that's uh, that's not exactly security threat but okay it is, it is saying it is it's okay. A normal user triggering job unauthorized job execution okay denial of service might flood the system okay that also makes sense uh, countermeasures okay job download PA and save industry bucket insecure handling of PA download of uh, unauthorized access attacker might attempt to gain unauthorized access to S3 bucket okay uh, okay that's cool but uh, you know countermeasure that's legit uh, it's asking us to actually 
uh, encrypt the PI during transit and also as well as in rest. So basically, it is asking us to use some sort of TLS along with you know um, in rest encryption. Uh, access control set strict access control permission. Okay, that also you know since we are on AWS environment, it is asking us to do that. So okay, let's let's now it's not talking about Stride at all at this moment. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to use uh, we are going to tell uh, to use the Stride framework to do the same for us and show all OWS possible threads in each category. And I also wanted to write, draw a diagram, okay, and give detailed mitigation as well. So let's see what it has to do now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now it is explaining all the stride, uh, the the stride framework, and each and every component of stride framework. Uh, let it finish, then we are going to you know go over all these details. Okay. Uh, diagram placeholder okay uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see later what it is capable of doing stride framework so first is spoofing identity okay that makes sense uh, injection broken authentication uh, implementing strong authentication mechanism like multi-factor authentication so basically if you look at it this is the first use case that you have given so it, it kind of you know mapped it tampering with data uh, is the second one of stride framework uh, sensitive data exposure that's definitely one security misconfiguration uh, and since you know we asked chat gpt to forcefully map it so maybe sometimes it may or may not make sense but uh, you know we don't know exactly the tampering with data actually maps to security misconfiguration it couldn't be you know because of uh, anything uh, not only security misconfiguration okay so mitigations are pretty much same repudiation uh, xml external entities xxc uh, insecure deserialization include proper logging and audit auditing mechanism so what i can understand is uh, the mapping to owsp is not making sense all the time however if you look at it the mitigations is making sense so repudiation is all about you know claiming some claiming uh, accountability of any action so that is why it is asking to you know uh, use proper logging and auditing mechanism okay mm. okay information disclosure sensitive data exposure okay now i think the mitigation actually came from the previous prompt so i won't be going over all this stuff so you know it's also since i asked him to detail mitigation strategies it has written all the stuff so I will ask, can you uh, draw a threat model for this? No, it is not capable of write, drawing the threat model uh, as key art of the threat model. Let's see if it is certainly okay it is capable of doing now it is capable of you know doing the threat modeling threat model of uh, <coughs> uh, of this particular system using ASCII as you can see we have the user interface we have the user system uh, and probably this is the web application they are referring to uh, on admin approval system job system s3 bucket so you know it, it on a very high level it has got it uh, pretty good because you know the high level components are matching we talked about s3 bucket the data has to be saved and you know user can uh, you know trigger jobs so that is why you know it has written the job systems as well so that's uh, you know very high level overview of you know how chat gpt can be used to do threat model but definitely the prompt can be you know uh, improved further to do better threat modeling uh, since you know I, I was also doing it the very first time so I was not sure how chat GPT is going to react to it but uh, yeah I think I'm, I'm not super happy with the threat model it has built but it definitely can be a good uh, you know reference when you are actually performing threat model so you know if you are if you are not capable of identifying something chat GPT intelligence is uh, able to identify something you know uh, it can be useful sometimes 
so uh, also uh, before I finish off today's video I would like to tell so in case if you are dealing with um, you know confidential data and confidential system and that you are you know performing threat modeling on uh, it's not recommended to you know give this content uh, to chat GPT because uh, chat GPT can use this data to train its model and that may eventually cause uh, you know leaking of company confidential information to the public so that's why you know, it's not recommended so you should be really careful about it so that's about it i think uh, you know you can definitely use uh, you know other frameworks as well uh, instead of stride there are other popular threat modeling framework uh, which is uh, you know widely used by security teams so you know you can you know definitely do some experimentation with that and uh, and if you ever try it just you know let me know in the comment section you know if you find it useful so thank you so much for you know uh, watching this video uh, i really appreciate your time so if you like the kind of content i upload on this channel you may consider subscribing to my channel as well so thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next video bye bye